Well, Mark, we're talking straight after the Oval game and now we look ahead to Dagenham. What's your thoughts ahead of that game? Um, really excited by the game. Obviously, you know, off the back of two wins, confidence is high, but obviously know that a real tough challenge is coming in, in Dagenham and what, what, you know, a great manager they've got and a, and a great array of players and you've seen from their result at the weekend as well, they're going to be a, a, real, a real tough cookie. Um, so we'll give them the respect they deserve, um, but we also, you know, we're in confident mood. We've got to make sure that we show, you know, a good, a good version of ourselves and uh, you know we should be going into the game in a confident mood. How important is that word confidence going into this important part of the season with the last few games left? Absolutely huge. It's, it's the ingredient which has been missing, um, sadly missing for, for too long. Um, but as I've always said, those, those tough times make you if you when you come through them and um, we've got to keep fighting to come through it. We spoke about one player in particular after the Oval game, Mo Silla, something you wanted to give a special mention to, just a word on him today. Yeah, I thought, I thought Mo was, was magnificent. Uh, in the game at, at Yeovil, he was. But people don't realise he's on Ramadan. Um, you know, I had to rest him the, the week previous to look after him uh, with a slight knock that he had, um, and then he's come back into the team as well. So we're trying to do our best. But he's, like I said, him and, and Mo Better are both on Ramadan. So that the energy that he showed after the travel and the, the big pitch and the, and the heat. Uh, the, the performance that he put out was was was, was unbelievable, really. Um, I thought he was fantastic, but to take that into account as well, that he was the only one who hasn't even had a sip of water, uh, was, was some going. And uh, yeah, he's. Uh, I don't often single people out, but I thought he was. I thought he was fantastic. I suppose that sort of mentality loses from everyone else. You know, that hard working work for everyone. Look to get the results. We look to kick on now. Yeah, no excuses. You know, he's he he had a lot of them. But he went out and produced a performance like that. Um, so again, he led by example, and the other players followed. And you know, as a real positive performance from everyone, and it's one that we've got, we've got to use, we've got to harness, we've got to use it to, to kick us off and kick us on and spur us on for more. And injury-wise, what's the latest on some players who are available, not available? Uh, well, hopefully Corey Jordan. Um, you know, he stayed away from the the Oval game which, with with the travel and that that weren't conducive for his back. We'll, we'll, we'll take a check on him at. Um, to see if he can come through. Uh, Ryan Glover's picked up a second yellow. Um, obviously got a clash of heads. He's, you know, the oval player was covered in claret. He's got up, he's disorientated. He then gets pushed off the pitch by one of their players, pushes him back and he gets booked. Uh, you know, when you've had a clash of heads, you're a bit disorientated, wondering where it was. The physio was on and I don't think he was quite sure what was happening. But when he got pushed off the pitch after a head injury, I don't think that's, that's good. He's turned around and just put his hands up to push him back. And the ref decides just to book Ryan and, and no one else. So um, a real disappointing one, really. I um, don't think he deserved to be sent off. Um, I think the keeper should have just, uh, sorry, the, the referee should have just used a little bit more of awareness and a little bit more of a... Uh, calm around around that situation because it you know it's completely unwarranted. Harry P, where's the latest on his injury? Yeah, Harrison Paniato picked up a nasty ankle injury and um, uh, altering him, and he's uh, he's recovering well. He's been uh, you know out running on the training ground, so that's really pleasing to see. Along with Toby Edson and Kevin Locko, they are out on the training ground with the physios now. We're hoping that they can start to be drip fed back into training, hopefully sometime this week. So that that's that's a positive as well. Another positive is hopefully Sinclair will eventually be involved and look to train with us very soon. Yeah, that's one we're all we're all waiting for. You know, the the news is out now, and uh, yeah, frustrating we've had to wait th this long. But it's a you know uh, a highly regarded player at QPR, and they've got to do what's best for the the players' needs. And um, you know we've got to respect that, and we've just got to carry on waiting patiently. But the ones in the shirt at the moment are doing uh, doing a good job. Just another final note on Dagenham, of course, they had that big win on Saturday, we obviously we're talking on, on the Friday rather. With us getting a clean sheet on the Friday, how important is it we look to keep that defensive resilience going? Yeah, absolutely. Like I said we've got to show it all. We've got, we've got to be defensive resilient, but we've got to have our, you know, we've got to go and take the game to them. We know we've, we've got to, um, you know, harness that confidence and, and go and show what a good side we can be as well. We you know we've got, we've got to get that balance right. You know, we certainly can't play with fear. You know, play with a bit of respect, but certainly no fear. And, uh, you know, if we strike that balance right, I'm sure we can give Dagenham a good game. Of course, being back at home as well, looking to kick on now and get that good home form towards the end of the season. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the travelling away support at Yeovil was, was fantastic. And uh, on such a lung-busting day and long journey, we really needed them. You know, you know the boys were, you know, the work ethic they showed. And when you're out on your feet, you need that extra push. And they certainly gave it to us. And uh, like I said, we, we've caused our own problems. 
you know, with our home form has created a negative atmosphere sometimes which is you know a bit of a vicious circle for us because we've we're the ones who've got to break it and hopefully you know with the last two two wins we can build a little bit more belief in ourselves and and, and the fans will stay with us because we we really need them at the moment um, a lot of football to be played you know another tough game coming up after a long journey we're going to need that extra push and they certainly give it to us Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.